Welcome back to Norfolk Perspective. Okay, you think that you already overwhelmed, but guess what? We're taking Christmas Carol, not the story, the Carol, and really bringing it alive outside of the Virginia Stage Company, thanks to Stephen Kirkland and oh, Keith oh, Stava. Oh, now, okay, I gotta, I'm going to tell the viewer, because you've been, <laughs> you've been running around here. You know, you're getting into this Christmas thing, because your daughter's how old now? She's three. She's three. She's so this wearing is the, me out. Yeah, you're really kind of going over the top, probably, aren't you? I am. So I am. This I'm going to ask you to sing fun. Frozen. I sang at the top of the show. You want to sing? Do the you want to build a snowman? Yeah. I can go all the way through, Bob. But be I careful. Won't. We have one I in the studio. He might come over to get you if you build a snowman. <laughs> so okay. So this year, you're not happy enough with uh, with an awesome exhibits at Nauticus that some people may have never seen. The, uh, the the Hampton Roads Naval Museum right there, that's free admission. You got the largest battleship in the world. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You're not happy enough. You, you've contacted the great, great grandson? The great, great grandson of Charles Dickens, who is an actor on the West End in London. Uh, he'll be here on November 10th to kind of kick this thing off for yeah, us. Yeah, so he's going to be able to walk around this village and say, yeah, move that building That's that right. way. That's right. He's the boss. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you've, you've been spending the last, what, six weeks or so building this English village? Oh, gosh. No, we, you know, we started back in June. Oh, and, I understate um, you. It's about a 20,000 square foot facility or uh, experience. So you'll walk across the lower level of the half moon. By the way, the marina will be lit up with garland on the piles. We'll have our sailboats all lit up. Um, and you'll sort of walk through the London dockyards. Um, we have a train that will be going every Saturday, Friday and Saturday night in the park. Um, and so it really is an experience, not just inside the doors, but you walk across and then you enter sort of this Victorian London um, experience with carolers on the street corners and uh, merchants and um, hot cider and hot cocoa. And uh, there's a town square where we'll have performances. It's just this really lovely experience for families, a very family focused, interactive kind of thing. Cool. Now, you might have some snow, but it'll be warm. It's climate control. That's right. That's right. The best kind of snow. So a little bit. Of, <laughs> there we right. go. A little bit. Of, but now you're doing this in partnership with the Virginia Sage Company because their, their production of Christmas Carol actually kicks off about the same time. They are terrific partners, and, and uh, Keith and his team have done a great job. My tradition, my wife and I, every year go to see Christmas Carol, and I say, Keith, what can we do together? I'm desperate to do something for five or six years. You know this. I've mm -hmm. been talking about what can we do inside the half moon at the holiday, and we decided to focus on Dickens. And what a lot of people don't understand is, is our traditions, a lot of our traditions started Back in Victorian England, 1843, the first Christmas card was um, was sent, or, or at least published. Um, the first Christmas tree in 1843 was in Windsor Castle, and that's what began the tradition of, of uh, Queen Victoria putting a Christmas tree. And so a lot of these traditions that we celebrate and we cherish started then, and uh, we're just going to pay homage. Okay, homage, y homage. and you just gave yourself away, because this isn't just going to be an entertainment venue. No. You're going to be teaching that three-year-old of your something too. Yeah, right? we want people to learn a little something as well. You know, we want them to, there's a scavenger hunt for kids, but it, the idea behind the scavenger hunt is what can you really, what can you, uh, what can you do and what can you, you learn? You want to break into song again? <laughs> do you want to build a snowman? Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Cool Jack. <laughs> Go build a parade now. So it's going to be a great experience though. That's so, and there's also this is a way of getting your three year old out of the seat. While watching Virginia Stage Company, she's gonna think I'm cool again. She's not into kinda... the battleship yet, but Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, mate. So, okay, now this has really been an expensive venture for you to put together, hasn't yes. it? Yes, yes. Um, in terms of cost, in terms of staff time, in terms of um, just sort of it's it's every day we're meeting and talking about this thing. Um, the goal for us is to, two goals, actually. Number one, this has to be a tradition. So it's not just for this year. We want it to be bigger and better next year. Mm -hmm. And number two, we honestly want this to be something that every family in our community can afford. So for the price of, for 20 bucks, basically, a, a family of four can come and enjoy this. Five dollars for adults. I was going to say, if you're all by kids. yourself, though, you can just go Ab for five Absolutely. Bucks. But we, we think um, first class in terms of quality, but but... Um, we've had to raise a lot of those monies, um, and we've been fortunate to have done that so that we can keep that ticket cost low and that and folks can come and enjoy it and, and, and have a memory. So know? it really is community growing 
Yes. It's going to be a new opportunity to kind of have a new tradition. Absolutely. The tradition part of it is really important. Y'all were talking about Coleman's Nursery earlier. Yeah. I remember in North Carolina coming up to Coleman's Nursery and, and having that special experience. And I was that young, and here today I, I still remember that. That's the kind of thing we want to, to give these okay. families. Now, Stephen, anybody else would think, okay, having a battleship, having all that stuff, having Dick and Scott was, is good enough. But also on November 22nd, you guys are hosting the sign-ins for the half marathon. That's and right. That's right. We're, we're a proud partner with everything that's going on in Norfolk. What Jessica and, and Mary and, and their team are doing is terrific, and we just want to be a part of it. Uh, we love downtown Norfolk. We're proud of it, and we, wanna, we want people to come down and enjoy it. Well, and just in passing, I think I need to remind you that uh, the day that we're taping this show, you've got to leave here pretty quick and cast the line back out on that cruise ship. We have a cruise ship in town. That's right, yeah. So, so there's a lot going on. Who thought that Half Moon was an empty building? <laughs> That's right? right. That's right. Stephen, thanks for kind of bringing us live. It opens up? Actually, November 22nd, the day of the Grand Illumination Parade. And so. you'll be open throughout the whole? Throughout uh, until December the 28th. All right. So thanks thank you. And uh, keep on singing to that three-year-old. Ho, ho, ho. Okay.